Hey Swa, hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be Matt versus Dewey. Basically, I'm going to find out which one I like more. Do I like being Matt? Do I like being Dewey? Do I like being both? Jacqueline Hill did a video on this earlier, I think last year. I watched it, I absolutely loved it. She mentioned how she learned a couple of things from doing the video, and I hope to do the same. I do a lot of glowy makeup. I don't really like being matte just because I am on the drier side, and I feel like being matte makes you look that much more dry. So if you guys are interested in seeing a matte versus dewy look, then just stay tuned. It has been a long week, so I apologize if I'm like a little weird out of it and a little plump because it is that time of the month. Once again, comes every month, no surprise. And also it is 100,000 degrees in this room, so if you hear any background noise, it's because I have a fan because if I don't, I will melt. Now, I know Jacqueline Hill was talking about this in her video, how she favors one side more than the other. I do as well. I actually favor my left side. My left side is a little bit less swollen than my right side, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I have a lot more lid space on this side than I do over here. This eyebrow looks better than the one over here. It is a lot easier to manage. The only thing that I don't like on the left side of my face is my lips because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do have a slight lip deformity. It is something that I've had since birth, which most people don't really notice unless I point out. The left side of my face is going to be my highlight face, and this side is going to be my matte face. So let's go ahead and start with primer. I've already washed and moisturized my face. For primer, on this side, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Primer, and then on this side, we're gonna go in with the Number 7 Airbrush Away Primer. Now, I have absolutely been loving this primer. The one thing I don't like about it, though, you have to be really careful, is that if you put on too much, much or if you put it on uh, let's say when your moisturizer is a little wet or your sunscreen it will kind of start to I don't know if it's called pilling I don't honestly I don't even know what pilling means I'll have to look it up later but this product will ball up if your moisturizer or sunscreen is not completely dry on the face also, if you don't spread this out evenly, you will have like a little bit of a like shimmer spot. So make sure that you blend that shit out because you don't want that gunk. I don't have a lot of matting products because I don't like being matte. I think matte makes you look really, really flat, like no dimension on the face unless you add dimension and not everybody is into contouring every single day of their life. Also, I am very normal to dry and when you're a dry person, you don't want to be matte because matte usually accentuates the dryness so I really honestly just don't like being matte like at all. For foundation on this side I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula the Healthy Foundation. Also I want to mention this video is a lot less luxurious than Jaclyn Hill's video because she uses a lot of luxury brands and a lot of luxury makeup which I don't have because again I'm not made of freaking money. Hopefully one day I'll get to that point where I can rub $200 primer on my face. As long as you work hard I feel like you can be as successful as Jaclyn Hill. Now I absolutely love this foundation. It is so dewy I actually even feel like it's really really hydrating on the skin like it doesn't dry my skin out like a lot of matte foundations do which is why I don't really like matte foundation I was actually trying to figure out out of all my foundations which isn't again very many which ones were matte because a lot of the foundations that I have are mostly for dewy skin for this side I'm going in with what a lot of people like to call the paint foundation because it smells like paint smell doesn't really bother me this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation I actually like to mix these two colors together because when I do it almost makes like the perfect shade I have shell ivory and shell soft ivory here. I'm going to mix those two together and we are going to apply it on the face. Hopefully it's still the same shade because I did get a little sun which wasn't intentional. I actually really hate the sun, especially ever since I've been on and off of Accutane. I just learned so much. I knew the sun was bad, but I didn't know that it could do some of the things that it did to my skin. One perfect example of that is, you know, creating discoloration and making your scars a lot harder to get rid of, which is why I have a lot of discoloration, uneven skin tone, dark spots, all that stuff. All right, so now that I have that blended out, we're gonna go in with concealer. On the matte side, I'm gonna be using the no filter concealer by ColourPop. This one is really not my shade. I actually bought this before they did the shade range or shade change because I actually can't find this shade anymore. This is shade five and I believe they have shade six 
and four but they don't have five anymore so it's a little strange this is a little bit yellowy for me this side I'm gonna take what I recently reviewed in my last video the revolution makeup revolution conceal and define concealer and I really like the shade of this but I feel like I do need to go in with a lighter shade this is in the shade C1 and honestly I feel like I could go a shade lighter so I think next time I'm gonna have to go with the shade 0.05 but all in all, I have been liking this concealer. It does blend out very nicely. It just doesn't really give me the coverage that I'm looking for. Ooh, this side is looking way yellow right now, but we are looking super matte. Before I actually set my face, I'm gonna go do my brows, let this dry down a little bit, and then we'll be right back. All right, so now that I have my brows on, which took a while, I literally could not get the cap open because my hands are so sweaty because it's hot as balls. Now, I have two powders here. I have the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Translucent Loose Powder. This is actually the first loose powder that I have ever bought. I love it. I love setting my face with this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this entire matte side and set it with this loose powder. My skin is looking dry as hell on this matte side. So for my luminous side, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This I also recently reviewed in my video and this powder is just, I love it so much because it brightens the under eye, which is what we're trying to do here, especially with the whole highlighting deal. And I absolutely love this because it also doesn't change the under eye area of my face. Now that we have that nice in set, we are gonna go ahead and do the eyeballs or the eyelids. And for that, I'm gonna be taking my Nouveau Neutrals BH Cosmetics Palette. This is also something else that I reviewed on my last video. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it up here in the eye so you guys can check it out. So I don't have to keep saying I reviewed this, I reviewed that. Y'all can check it out up here. This has mattes and shimmers in it, and I'm gonna do my best to make these look a little similar, but I'm not gonna guarantee anything here. Oh wow, that sucks. This palette is already cracking on the lid. First, I'm going to take this light shade here. This is a matte. So I'm going to be putting this on both my eyelids to just kind of flatten that area out. Make everything nice and even. For the matte shade, I'm going to be taking this guy down here. Just get a little bit of color in them eyes. For my left side, I'm going to be going in with this very pretty color right here. This is a soft shimmer, by the way. Now I'm going to take this matte color down here, and I'm going to place that on the outer corner. Try to get it pinky a little bit, a little bit darker. So that didn't make it darker. It just made it a lot pinkier, but that is okay. For my highlight side, I'm going to take this color right here, which is a soft shimmer, and do the same. For this side, the highlight side, I'm going to take this color and we're going to go ahead and place that on the lid. This is a really pretty shimmer color. For my matte side, I actually don't have like a matte bright color in that palette. So I'm going to take the Aphrodite palette from Bad Habits. And we're going to take this shade right here called Koi and I'm going to place that on the lid. So the same thing I did with the glowy side. So for under the eyes on the glowy side, I'm just going to take this color we used earlier. Go ahead and pop that on the lower lash line. For this eye, I'm gonna go back in with this color that I used earlier and do it on this side. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use this same shade that we used on the lid and I'm gonna brighten that up a wee bit. Next, I'm gonna take this Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen and this is in the shade Opal Overcoat, I think. And I'm gonna place that in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with this. Ooh, that is so party. Now I'm just gonna curl these bad boys and get them ready for some mascara. For my mascara, I'm just gonna be using the number seven extreme length mascara that I have right here. Now that I have the mascara applied, we're gonna go on with bronzer, blush, and highlight. So basically the finishing touches. For my matte bronzing side, I'm gonna take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light Bronzer. We're just gonna bronze the entire area here, and this is the matte side. A little bit on this ginormous forehead. For the glowy side, I'm actually going to take the Morphe Brontour, and this is in Glitterati. One thing that I realized with the Brontour is when you swirl these two together, you get an absolutely beautiful glowy bronzer. So you can use this as a matte bronzer or a glowy bronzer by mixing the two. I'm just going to take my bronzer brush, swirl it real good, tap off the excess, and we're going to add this glowiness to our faces. I am absolutely in love with this 
ginormous bronzer. Again, with the ginormous forehead. Girl, we is looking bronzy today. So far, I'm like looking in the mirror and I don't know. I feel like this side is very saggy. <laughs> it's very sad looking. Like there's no dimension really going on even with the bronzer it gives my face a little bit of color a little bit of dimension because it does add a little slight contour but for the most part i'm just really not seeing any upliftedness over here this side over here to me looks a lot more natural very uplifted kind of like someone just like lifted my face up a little bit more than over here it might be just me being biased because i really just don't like being matte at all but let's continue anyway for blush I wanted to use something that was a little bit similar on both sides just so we can see a little bit of the difference so we're gonna pull this guy out again this is the BH cosmetics palette I'm gonna take this matte blush right here and we're gonna apply that on duh, the matte side so for the glowy side, we're going to go in with the Milani Color Harmony Blush, and this is in the shade Pink Play. I'm actually going to take my brush and just swirl it all around, and you want to be really careful because this product is very dusty if you swirl it around. And we're going to apply this. Oh, it's so pretty. This glows so beautifully. I love it so much. Now that we got that finish, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this side. I'm going to be using the Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise, and I'm going to take Vacation, I think. Yes, I'm going to take Vacation and Baby Girl, and we're going to mix these two together, and we're going to highlight the cheek bench. Yes, highlight above the brow bone. Now I'm going to do the Cupid's bow, only one side here. Now a little trick that I've been doing a lot is instead of doing just the Cupid's bow, I actually bring the highlight about halfway down my lips and I feel like this gives such a more plump look. Maybe it's just me, who knows? I feel like it works, so I like to apply this. And we're going to do half the nose here. And then the chinny chin chin. Also, I forgot to highlight the brow bone, so we're going to do that. And I think to brighten the inner corner a little bit, I'm just going to take Baby Girl and just place that right inside. And for lips, I'm going in with Lime Crime Milf. At least I think that's how you say it. It's spelled M and then it's got a dollar sign and then LF. So I'm just going to say it's Milf. This is seriously like my favorite go-to matte. I feel like it goes with everything. Now that it has dried down, I'm gonna add the Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory, and this is in the shade Candy Queen. And we're gonna go ahead and add that on the glowy side. Ooh, this is a pretty color combo. This feels so weird to me right now with gloss on one side because the other side is just like completely matte and it just feels weird I don't know it's doing something now I'm not gonna add setting spray because I don't have any setting spray that is going to make me matte now I'm looking in the mirror and I honestly do not know which side I like better I feel like this side is a lot more lifted it looks more plump it looks more alive it looks more fresh on the other side this side looks a lot more natural it looks I don't know it does look really flat to me again like I said I don't really prefer matte maybe I am being a little biased because I do prefer to be glowy honestly uh, I don't know I really don't know Jaclyn Hill in her video I know she was saying in her glowy highlighted side that she looks a lot older and aged I'm just really not seeing that with my face. Maybe I didn't do this correctly. I tried to use all the possible glowy products that I could and use all the possible matte products that I have. And honestly, I am just liking the glowy side a lot more than the matte side. I mean, I feel like the matte side just lacks a lot of dimension. It looks very, very flat. It's very unflattering for me. So I have had this little insecurity of mine since I was a lot younger. And that is the size of these ginormous, big ass cheeks. I really don't like my cheeks and how big they are. I feel like they make my face look so big and round and just grody. Like I just don't like it. It's like I got these two big balls of mochis on my face. If you don't know what mochi is, Look it up on Google. Google is your best friend. Honestly, I think that the matte side, the way it looks without all the glowiness bringing attention to it, my cheeks actually look a lot smaller, which I love. Over here, my cheeks are kind of like, well, bam, hello. And I don't really like that. I like my cheeks to be a little bit undercover, not that noticeable, like, hello, she has really fat ass cheeks. I kind of am liking 
the matte side of things on the cheek area except the fact that there is no highlight to pull my cheeks up a little bit so i think that's why i prefer the glowy side is because the highlight is lifting my cheeks a little bit but because i have so much glowy bronzer and blush on this whole area just looks super highlighted super hello wham bam thank you ma'am and over here it's very subtle and very quiet and i think that if i add a little bit of highlight here and just keep the bronzer and the blush matte that my cheeks won't look as ginormous as they usually do now as for the eyes of course i prefer the glowy side because it's like hello i'm awake i am here also my left side is my really lazy eye so i feel like this helps out my lazy eye a lot now with the way that i did my lips today with the matte and the glowy or glossy side you can definitely tell that I have a lip deformity this side where I don't have the lip deformity is very flat and it just kind of goes into this angle right here which just goes down the middle and over on the glowy side it is very full and my lip just kind of goes out a little bit fatter and then down like over here it just kind of goes really straight and over here it rounds out at the top and then comes down to an angle so that way you can kind of see my lip deformity i know a lot of people are probably like she does not have a lip deformity her lips are just uneven but i do have a little deformity thing guy right here which i think is what makes my lips a little rounded out over here rather than flat my actual lip deformity is right here it is a bump that i have on my lips that most people do not notice unless i point it out as you can see it is right here my mom told me that when I was a baby it was a lot bigger and she asked them what was going on with that and they said simply when I grow up it's not going to be that noticeable and of course it's really not that noticeable unless I point it out but it is something that I am kind of like eh because my lips always look really uneven and it always makes it look like I don't know how to line my lips or I don't know how to apply lipstick but I swear to God I do it's just my lips are really uneven. So I'd say the main things that I'm taking away from this is that I definitely Definitely need to tone down my blush a little bit and my bronzer for it to be not so glowy alrighty so that is it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe also don't forget to hit that bell so you know when I actually post my videos and as always if you have any tips tricks questions comments or if you simply want to talk shit leave it all in the comment section below and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye